Coming up on Look Today, well, in Fort Edward, the GE plant pushes back its closing date. I've got details. And we also have an update on the Joshua Bennett trial. And today, we launch our Look at Movies, and it's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson, and this is Look Today. Well, in tonight's program, I sit down with Superintendent of Saratoga Springs City School District, Michael Piccarillo, and he's here to discuss the Foundation for Innovative Learning. And I also sit down with Jackson Murphy. Now, he's the young film critic, and we're here to discuss the movies. Plus, we have your weather for the Tri-North Counties. But first, these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, we've got an update in Fort Edward. The GE plant will not officially close until the last person leaves on May 31st. Now, GE said the plant was going to close in October of 2015. Now, then that day got pushed back to January. Now, the projected closing date will be May 31st. Now, by that point, the plant will only have one worker remaining at the factory. GE is moving parts of the factory to a subsidiary plant in Clearwater, Florida. Well, that final worker We'll close up the building when the time comes. Now, he's performing final decommissioning activities. GE plans to maintain ownership of that PCB contaminated property. And so preparations must be made for what might be years of vacancy. Well, in another update, I'm sorry to have to report this to you. But Joshua Bennett, in connection with Kaylee Castle's death, will serve up to 15 years in prison. He was convicted of criminally negligent homicide and felony drug charges. Now, Kaylee Castle, you might recall, was only 13 months old when she was found dead with traces of heroin and cocaine in her system. And she lived with her mother, Rachel Ball, and the mo and mother's boyfriend, who was Joshua Bennett. Well, a witness claimed that the mother admitted to her that she had put heroin in Kaylee's bottle to calm her down when she cried. Ball also pleaded guilty to criminally negligent homicide and drug charges, and she will be sentenced March 4th. She faces a minimum of 8 to 11 years in prison. In other news, a Hartford resident catches the biggest salmon in Lake George in 30 years. Well, after drilling a fishing hole on the iced lake, Jeff Lawrence noticed the 15-pound, 4-ounce Atlantic salmon swimming near him. It took him 30 minutes to catch it. The catch marks what seems to be a rejuvenation in the salmon population in the area. Now, Lawrence got the salmon through a six-inch hole, even though its tail alone was nine and a half inches wide. That is quite a salmon. Changing from news to weather. Well, today brought a little wind chill with temperatures in the high 20s, but the sun was out. For a more detailed look at the weekend weather, we're going to head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. And back to the news. Well, today we launch a brand new weekly segment. It's called A Look at Movies with Jackson Murphy. Now, this segment is going to run every Friday, and it's going to allow us to keep you updated on current releases in the theater and at home. Now, this is a real unusual look at the movies, and we're really proud to present this. Here's the first segment. Hi everybody, I'm Jackson Murphy and here's this weekend's Look TV, Look at Movies. New in theaters is Eddie the Eagle, based on the true story of the first person to represent Great Britain in the Olympic ski jumping competition. Taron Edgerton plays Eddie, Hugh Jackman is his coach. It's rated PG-13. Gods of Egypt is the latest action fantasy mythology extravaganza. The ensemble cast includes Gerard Butler, young Brenton Thwaites, and lots of fire. This $140 million epic is rated PG-13. And there's Triple Nine, starring Anthony Mackie as a corrupt Atlanta cop working with bank robbers to pull off the heist of the year. Casey Affleck and Kate Winslet also star in this R-rated crime drama. New at home options this weekend include Spotlight, which takes us inside the 2001 Boston Globe investigation into the Catholic Church child sex abuse cover-up. And for families, Pixar's The Good Dinosaur. 
Enjoy the movies, everybody, and I'll see you right back here next week. I'm Jackson Murphy. <laughs> now, what young Jackson knows about the movies and who he knows is really going to surprise you in the weeks to come. Now, for a more in-depth conversation with Jackson, we are going to sit down with him later in this program. Well, coming up next, I sit down with Superintendent of Saratoga Springs City School District, Michael Piccarillo, and he's here to discuss the Foundation for Innovative Learning. Plus, as I said, we're going to sit down with Jackson Murphy, a young film critic, to discuss movies. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea, how about join us for an interview? Give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000.